Uh, you can see how the president received the, the team and uh, we're highly excited to say that uh, we were being honored with, uh, with, uh, with a great honor of MON, a member of the Order of the Niger, to all our, in the entire team and including even myself and my general secretary. That is a great thing that will have ever happened to this country. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, we know that we are very disappointed with the result, but there is nothing we can do. That is what happened in football. So now we have to go back and work ahead for the next AFCON. And we have some more couple of games for the World Cup qualifiers, so that is more important. Uh, we really appreciate all Nigeria for the massive support that they do to us. It's not that easy. We know everyone won the cup, but that is what Allah decided that is going to happen. Yeah, for our colleague, I don't think uh, he deserves what he is getting now because uh, I think we have done our, our we have we have done our nation proud. So we we think everyone have to be proud of each of any one of us. But nowadays we saw in the social media everything. If you want to attack, just attack all the team, not individual players. So for we, we are just playing with everyone that is that have that mindset. You should just think we are women. There's nothing we can do. We made a mistake in life, but when something like this happens, so we have to come together as unity and appreciate one, one another. Was there a lesson learned from the last match, the, the final match? Yeah, there's a, yeah, there a lot of lesson. you know. Uh, we are thinking 
and we are hoping that we're going to win the cup. But at the end of 95 minutes, we lost. We lost the game. So I think that is a very big lesson that we have to go back and look into it. Yeah, I must go back to my club. But talking about the trade, um, um, it's a football. You can you can't trade someone that win you because they always they, they win someone also. So what about um, if um, if you, now you win some of that team and they keep trading your players too? It doesn't make sense. So it's football. So I, I don't feel like it's something attached to it. Maybe it's just someone just write up something. But it's cool to me, like because okay. I spoke. No, I spoke to my I spoke to my chairman um, not quite long, like three days ago. But he didn't say anything like related to those stuff. So he felt like no, it's cool. You 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 come back because definitely I must go back to my club because they owe me. So be yeah. I, the last time I came here was in, uh, I think, 2017, when Buhari was still the president. Feels good to be to be in presence of the of, uh, of His ex Excellency, uh, Mr. Ba Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, and uh, give us some some honors and everything like that, which is a word of encouragement. I think um, this is also a booster for us to to continue to work out to put our nation on the map and make our make our nation proud. And um, the, unfortunately, there has been an incident with Alex Urobi and Captain Musa had to do a long thread, which I saw some of you reposting. In fact, almost all of you reposting. What is the message to Nigerians concerning cyberbullying and what has happened? It's really sad what uh, what is going through for the past, uh, I think, two weeks now. Um, some of our fans should do better, just like I said in, in my Instagram story. And of course, you could see there is a big solidarity in the team. And I urge a lot of Nigerians that cyberbullying. Uh, players because we are also human. Sometimes we make mistakes and sometimes we have a good game and we get the hype. But of course, uh, when you criticize, you have to be constructive when doing these type of things. I, I think, um, to be fair, uh, what, they, what they have done to, to Alex is, 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 is out of this world, is not good. They should also uh, look at this mental because there are some of us that can, that can take this to heart and then keep on grinding. And there are some of us that this thing will get to our, to, to our head and then we lose focus and we lose, and we lose form. So I think uh, we have rallied around, around him. We have spoken to him individually and collectively. So I think uh, he's, a strong, he's a strong dude and he's, he's, he's ready to continue to, to, to give himself for his nation. How prepared are you for the World Cup? We are ready. We are ready. I think now we, we just finished a tournament that, that is... Uh, one of the most hardest I've been, uh, we have played in since I, since I started my career. And now we have to go back to our club to keep up the good work and hopefully we get called up by, by, our, by our national team and give our all also. And of course the goal is to, to get a ticket to the World Cup and I think uh, we have the team and we have the squad to, to achieve that. Thank you very much.